My name is Daniel Frenches. I'm here with Marine Max Orlando, and today I'm walking through the 175 Sportfish from Scout. This is a 2023, just available, and it is a great boat. It's 17 and a half feet, but it feels like it's a 20 footer, and it rides about like it's 21 feet. And this has a great deep V on it for this size boat, so you can take it near shore, offshore, and anywhere the gas will take you. We've got an uh, awesome Magic Tilt trailer that we include with this boat. It's aluminum and it's welded. So this boat, this trailer is made specifically for this boat. So you can bring this on any which way and it'll fit like a glove. Makes it really easy to put on the trailer, especially when you have a good current going on. And uh, you see that this has the stainless steel rub rail and the chrome pinstripe here. These boats are really good looking boats. The trailer even has the Scout non-skip here, so you can step on this to get in the boat, and it really is a great package with uh, everything that you get. Come around to the back of the boat here. This is powered by a Mercury 115 horsepower command thrust. You've got your nice trim tap here, or your trim switch here, so when you are done for the day and you want to put your engine down and then flush it out, it's really simple and easy. You pull this tab here and you can flush out the engine. You've got a nice swim platform here with the ladder so if you're at the sandbar it's really easy to get on the boat and you've got just off the back here you've got plenty of rod holders so two on the port side two on the starboard side and you've got your uh, live well on this side and then you've got more storage on the starboard side as well we'll hop in there and take a look at the storage options we'll start here at the front of the boat you've got a nice big fleet for your anchor and you have your integrated nav lights there You've got your anchor locker up here so it's nice deep and you can put even more storage up there for your fenders and stuff up here at the bow you can opt for a bow cushion if you'd like but this is a great casting platform you can stand up here you've got still a little bit of funnel and height in your freeboard there so you're not going to trip out and um, you've got a great fish box storage area here which will drain overboard so depending on what you're doing you can have this as storage and you'll see that you have a nice cooler cushion here with the backrest so you can have this as your fish box as well and you can also take this out if you're not doing or bringing any drinks and just cruising and want to be able to have more space on the boat it's a really nice option i do it with my boat just to have more space and it's actually a really comfortable big wide seat so you can actually sit two grown adults there you've got a nice windshield here with your grab rail looks really good and it's in a perfect place that you need it we'll come to the helm here you've got your stainless steel uh, steering wheel here with the, the bus knob here you've got your mercury gauges and all your switching so you've got your nav lights and courtesy lights which will be lit up blue in here your bilge pump this is for your uh, your live well of course your horn and then you have uh, the light for the live well and you've got a raw water wash down so you can actually spray down the boat when you're done for the day but you see that this has the twin captain seats here and you've got a cup holder in front of you you've got a cup holder in front of you for the captain seat and you've got your fusion stereo with four speakers what's great about this helm here is that you have a lockable glove compartment here and you actually have uh, chargers in there as well so you can charge your phone if it rains everything is going to be safe in here if you go to a restaurant you can lock that if you have your wallet or you have any valuables in there just really nice to have a lockable compartment on this boat and what's great about these seats is that you can actually turn these around they go forwards and backwards but what I've found the most comfortable is that if you are fishing off the back which most people do or if you're trolling or anything like that you've got a troll control with the mercury but you can sit back here and you can have your rods out and you can be really comfortable but also you're able to swivel and you can put your feet over the edge and you can really make yourself comfortable on those days you're just waiting for the fish to bite. So you have the comfort level with these seats and a good amount of space on this boat. This does have the bimini top. It is removable so on a perfect day like today, you're trying to get some sun but you don't need the shade and you can actually take that off. But if it's a hot day in the summer, you can put this out and the whole boat will be covered and you still have a lot of space in the back that you can have your rods and not hit the bimini. So the storage space is really nice. The motor will go down here and you've got steps on the back, but you've got a storage compartment here and it'll stay open. So you've got your battery terminal there and uh, great storage space there. 
it's a self bailing cockpit so you can take these out if water comes in it'll just go right out but if you do want to clean the boat and make it a little bathtub you can put these in and you can give it a good scrub if you'd like coming from a, a long day of fishing you've got some blood on the back you've got a uh, live well here it's a nice deep live well and it will drain overboard it's got a light in there as well and that's really nice to have on this boat and then you've got plenty of rod holders in the back so it's a great family boat for fishing you've got enough seating in the front casting platform and you have a whole bunch of storage for uh, your rods and stuff and we'll come over here to the port side and you see that you have a uh, four more rod holders you got places for your knives and your uh, pliers there so it's nice to have your rods on the side especially if you're trailering and stuff you don't want to leave them on the back but you do like to leave them on the boat you put them right here they don't get in the way of anything and it's a really good look and then last but not least we'll come over here I mentioned we're talking about lockable storage but the storage space in this helm is just unbelievable you can put anything that you want wherever you're going and have enough space for more and it's a really nice feature to have and especially it's lockable so you can keep all your valuables on your boat and not have to transfer them back and forth but this is a great look at the scout 175 sportfish my name is daniel frenches with marine max orlando give me a call 407-590-0493